Hello, you Midas Mighty, Harry Littman of Talking Feds here. So the big videotape closed door deposition of Pat Cipollone, the former White House counsel to President Trump, who to date had been pretty resistant uh, about testifying, but had been called out unusually and remarkably by, among others, the vice chair of the January 6th committee, Liz Cheney, to testify. The American people have not yet heard from Mr. Trump's former White House counsel, Pat Cipollone. Our committee is certain that Donald Trump does not want Mr. Cipollone to testify here. But we think the American people deserve to hear from Mr. Cipollone personally. He should appear before this committee, and we are working to secure his testimony. And I think the Cassidy Hutchinson testimony was blockbuster and turning point, and basically Cipollone was left in a what side of history are you on, pal, posture, and he knuckled under to the pressure, although they they uh, negotiated a deal. He's not going to be in public, which will keep it from being sort of a circus and they have, uh, he has the ability to interpose certain objections. It's a little unclear and amorphous what he can do there. They're just agreed to go ahead and let him see what he objects to, but hopefully he'll be responsive. And I think he will be largely for what's most important because the um, takeaway point that most people I think are missing is Cipollone's biggest value is as a fact witness, not as a lawyer. He has been present indeed in the middle of many uh, episodes that we've already heard about from the committee that he can confirm and are really important, especially in showing Trump's potential culpability. So first, it's actually he who has the conversation with Mark Meadows that Cassidy Hutchinson testifies to when he says to Meadows, tell Trump to call off the people at the Capitol. And Meadows says, as Hutchinson reported, you heard him that so he was there to hear it. You heard him, Pat. He doesn't want to do it. He thinks the rioters are right. He thinks they should hang Mike Pence. Huge incendiary testimony, and he's direct as to that. He's also the one who tells Hutchinson, please tell Meadows to uh, call off the Capitol and please keep me informed, which is significant, but also uh, in itself, but also poignant because it shows Meadows isn't being responsive here. Meadows, who's his conduit to the president, is shutting him out. That matters. He's the one who tells Meadows in front of Hutchinson, if he goes down to the Capitol, we'll, I think he says we'll, but in any event, they'll be guilty of every effing crime imaginable. He similarly tells Meadows that if they don't call it off, there's going to be blood on Meadows' hands. And then finally, there might be an, uh, an objection interposed here, but he's already testified about it. At least I should say he's discussed it with the committee. The big January 3rd showdown where everybody tells Trump that the DOJ will resign. Cipollone, A, is on the right side, but B, calls the proposed letter to Georgia a, quote, murder-suicide pact. So that's all fact witness stuff. None of it is uh, what attorney-client privilege needs to be, which is a discussion between attorney and client for the purpose of giving legal information. That's even leaving to the side that the current occupant of the presidency has waived any privilege and that the um, privilege is owned by the presidency. Right now, that means its current occupant, Joseph Biden, not the president, and certainly not for two or three reasons, Donald Trump. So he uh, ought to be pretty forthcoming there. He also can affirm, again, as a fact witness, that he repeatedly told Trump, as did others, like Pat Philbin, his deputy, you can't do this, it's unlawful. You can't do that, it's unlawful. And that's very strong evidence of Trump's guilty intent, his knowledge that what he was about was just against the law, and he was relying on the opinions of sort of mediocrities that he just brought in because they would espouse them. That uh, is the main point, that he's a fact witness here, and it could be really good facts. 
And we know that he's not exactly a Trump guy. On the contrary, we know he was against everything that Trump was doing. We know he comes up in Washington as an acolyte of Bill Barr. And Barr obviously hasn't had any trouble going the uh, other way from Trump in these proceedings. So more likely than not, he gives the committee what they need. My best guess is he gives some very important testimony. Again, fact testimony that really helps show Trump's and others, especially Mark Meadows, uh, potential criminal exposure. All right, so there you have it. Midas Mighty, Harry Littman of Talking Feds. We have our own YouTube channel now that you can check out. And we'll be doing more of these reaction pieces, as this one is a reaction to Cipollone's coming forward. And until we do, talk to you later.